Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to create a query and then we are going to learn about how to create a list and then use data items of our query inside list. So let's start and before starting this video I am going to assume that you are aware about the Cognos Report Studio components you are aware about how to create a report, how to save it, how to open existing report, how to change the package for your existing report, how to check the property of a report. If you are not aware about all these concepts then I am going to recommend it that just watch my previous videos on the same. So let's start with the component of this video. First I want to create a query. If you want to create a query then you have to first select Query Explorer. Inside Query Explorer, just click on Queries. Now our target is to create a new query. Just drag and drop this query from the toolbox into your working area. Congratulations, your first query is created. Now, I am not going to add any column right now. As a best practice, you have to first rename your query. Just create a standards in your team or just follow existing standards to rename your query subject. For me, I am going to always rename my query subject using like this way. So let's say I want to create a query for sales, then I am going to rename my query is sales. You can also use another method, let's say I want to rename it query and then sales or you can rename it sales query this is just your best practice watch which naming convention you want to use ok so let's create or just rename it q underscore cells now we are ready to add column inside our first query for this you have to double click on this now how to add column inside your query for this you have to select the query subject from which you want column and then uh, open the query subject and drag and drop the column. For this query subject I am going to use um, gross profit and I want to use ok what I did I just drag and drop I added a new column and just pressed undo. Why? Because I want to show multiple methods to create data items ok yeah, the columns of your query is known as data items I want to use gross profit and I want to use country and my country is available here ok gross profit and country now you have multiple ways to add data items or column inside your query first just select all the columns which you want let's say I want all this column then just simply drag and drop ok if you don't want this or you by mistake add all this then you can do you have option to undo your last action another method is just select on this toolbox click on that items and from here just uh, go to your required column let's say I want to add gross profit and click select and drag and drop and then click on ok but this method is very lengthy I always prefer to add the columns by just selecting this from my query subject explorer and then country drag and drop I always prefer this method because in this method first you have to drag and drop data item you are going to add one uh, all the columns one at a time then you have to select your one column from here and then you have to rename it I want to rename it product cost enter ok, okay click on ok to add and then I have to change its aggregate function and roll up aggregation all this stuff so this is very lengthy process to create a new column so I always prefer to add column in my query by selecting this from query subject 
and then drag and drop okay I don't want all this so I'm going to click uh, undo all my last action so this is my final set of columns okay now we have to use this query in a list for this we have to first go on report page and my report page is available inside page explorer report page is page 1 next we have to add a list ok the list is available inside toolbox list drag select your list drag and drop now provide a appropriate name for your list again I am going to use the same concept first I am going to use L for list and then I want to give it a name let's say sales sales list ok if your query is not available then you can create a new query or you can if your query is available you can use your existing query for our for this scenario our query is available Q cells click on ok and your first list is created the next thing we have to add the required column inside our list so for this you have to click on that items select your required columns drag and drop here Congratulation, your first report is created with a query and list. It's time to execute our report. For execution, you have to click on this blue icon. You can change the format of your report. Whether you want to uh, HTML or root, this is the default. If you want to run your report in PDF format, then you have to select this to run the report in PDF format. Okay. Your play button always shows the last selected option. So in our last run we use run report as a PDF. So our report this is report generated in PDF. Okay. And if you want to run your report in HTML then just select run report in HTML. Now your report is going to generate in HTML format. And my last run is HTML. Okay. Now we are able to create a report we are able to create a new query subject we are able to create a list and then we are going to we are able to map our list and query okay that's great now for organizing all this stuff I want to I am going to create a new table okay HTML table and it is available here drag and drop table or you can find this just here ok now this is the borders here sorry this is insert table select your table format and click to confirm so I want a single column table with multiple rows ok and I'm going to drag and drop this list inside this and just for understanding I'm going to add some labels and you can find labels here uh, where it is label 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 text item and I'm going to name it what I have to name it ok this is my first query and list now next I am going to show you another method to create a list and query and I like this method okay for this you have to click on your toolbox and then you have to select list from toolbox drag and drop here I am going to name it L underscore I want a list on products okay for query I don't have the query required query for this list so I have to create a new query so I'm going to name it Q underscore product click on OK to create a new list and create a new query for this list ok your list is created and your query is created for this list how to ensure that your list is pointing to right query for this you have to select your list ensure in property list is selected and then you have to check you are able to check which uh, your list is pointing to which query 
another method to check just right click and go to query okay and your queue product is selected now next thing we have to add column in our query you, for this you have multiple option to navigate to your query first simply click on or just hover on query explorer and select your query product or you can just right click on your list and say go to query now I have to add some data items for this query and I want this from product forecast I want to check the forecast revenue for my products so I'm going to select forecast revenue and I'm going to select product okay and let's say assume product plan I want to add three columns inside this query so just select all the required columns drag and drop you your query is ready the last thing we have to add all this column all this three column inside our report for this you have to see select data items select your required columns and drag and drop okay and just for good visibility I'm going to move the sequence of this to be last because I want to render this into last okay and I'm going to render this in second position and for label for this I'm going to add my second query or my second list and query why I'm going to name it this like way because in our first first method we just created first we created a query and then we created the list in our second method we created a we first created a list and then we modify our query okay so it's time to execute our report and this time I'm going to execute in HTML format our report is executed successfully it is running and this is my second list and query and for cost revenue product product brand and you can check your another list is available here second list and query first first query and list okay close this to close the report viewer and your report is available here now I'm going to show you the last method to create a list and query and I'm going to recommend this method always use this method to create a list and query okay now in this just select your query explorer or query subject explorer and let's say I want to create a list on inventory I want to check the product and inventory closing inventory store for this I am going to select product I want product brand product color product line okay and I want to check the closing inventory okay no problem and simply select all your required column and drag and drop here yes drag and drop here this method is going to create your list it is also going to create a query for this list the next thing and the important thing you have to rename your list and query always provide a appropriate name for your list so I'm going to use this inventory let's say status and I'm going to copy this part control C and I'm going to rename my query queries query and I want to rename this okay that's it and I'm going back on report pages pages page 1 and quickly drag a text item here and I'm going to name it final list okay 
now it's time to run our report our report generated successfully and this is your final list bottom your cross profit and country hey okay this is I pressed bottom that's why okay no problem now I hope you are able to understand how to create a query how to create a list inside report studio if you are still having any doubt just leave it in comment section I will try to reply with proper response as soon as possible now one thing you have to leave in comment that which method you like most I showed you three method to create a query and list you have to explain or you have to just mention which method you like most I always prefer this method if I want to create a list for other stuff I am going to first create a query and then you, we have to assign that query for our other objects okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to click on subscribe and like button and see you all in next report studio tutorial video